podcast I'm not out of Hungarian in my band. <laughs> Welcome to day two of the North versus South rematch. Yesterday was a proper, proper fishing match. Just five pounds separates the two teams. So Lee and Andy May won, won yesterday with 132 pounds seven, and Des and Andy Power had 127 pounds seven. So just exactly five pounds separates the two teams. Today we're at the Riddings Fishery, and we spice things up a little bit with silverfish only, with the um, little bonus of an orange goldfish counting as five pounds. So should any of the anglers catch a goldfish, and I will inspect it, they will count as five pounds. So that could make the difference up from yesterday. But we're gonna go over and do the draw and uh, listen to all the moaning. Notice Team oh, North for here at 8.30. Team South, a million, still laying in bed. That's the difference, isn't it? Absolutely. Get up and go, we've got. Yeah, ready, because yeah. They have got oh. slightly longer drive than you guys. Don't give me that rubbish. No, 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 no. Give me no, slightly no. longer drive than Absolutely us guys. Not. We're in the Midlands. Oh, old proven his knowledge of the UK once again. So yesterday, we gave, gave you guys the chance to win a free coaching day with Des Ship. And being as it's Christmas, we couldn't resist giving you guys another chance to win some fantastic prizes. So what I'm going to do is listen out for the key word again. Um, and we're going to give away two absolute pole rollers. So make sure you watch the full video. Don't forget to hit subscribe and comment below with the keyword. Right guys, so we're going to do the draw, but before we do that, I need to run through the rules of today. So it's silverfish only. Cruisians count as well, as yes. well as tension, all your other silvers. No carp, and orange goldfish, no brown ones, orange, it's got to be orange, counts as five pound. Oh, oh go on, yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah, only so five pound. That yeah. should spice flakes. things up a bit if you oh, catch one. I've got some sets of flakes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Put this yeah, if they yeah, catch two, we just will pack in and go home, man. <laughs> it should be a, you know. And, hey, you're not going to be able to see us all day. Oh, isn't that yeah, orange one, Andy? Yeah, well done, mate, yeah. So, being as you won yesterday, we get to go first. Am I going in? Why? Oh, you're I'm in. going back yeah, in. Have you lost? You're in. Yeah. Leader draws first. Hey, every you're time. A. Oh no! You've never drawn B. Yeah, but he's that side, isn't it? Yeah, it was A B, wasn't it? No. Oh, ah. oh, that was joking. Yeah, but it, it was winning from yesterday. Keep noise though, down. Keep hey, noise down. It was a winning one from yesterday. Yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. All oh, right. Cough, Des. I'm sorry. There's some crazy. sportsmanship for you from the south, right? Brilliant. Same as yesterday. Paul Angers in the middle. Paul Angers in the middle. Feeder Angers on the end. All right, get, 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 get out of our picture. Yeah, boy! <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. Oh, Right, just going to go running through the rigs. Obviously, I'm on the pole and he's back on the feeder again. Um, so we're at the lovely Riddings fishery. I've only fished it a couple of times. I've been on this lake twice, I think. And the fishing is really, really good. But I'll just run you through the rigs of what and the little plan that I've got. Um, we'll start off on the inside. It is quite deep, this venue, or deeper than a lot of venues. Um, I've always, I don't really know what's going to happen. I've only ever fished this when it's been freezing cold. Uh, my short line is a top kitten one. It's probably about three and a half to four foot deep. And I've set a little 4B12 little chanty up there and that's just basically for catching everything. I'll probably put a little blob of worm and ground bait in there to start with and then feed me over two lines after, but probably start on this line just to see if I can get a few fish in the, in the bag. I've also set a, a rig up for down the edge as well, a little 4B10 chanty as well. But I won't run for that one. And then the line, I've got two lines a little bit further out. I've got a top kit and three sections, but I've got a short three because it is actually a little bit over the top kit deep. So it's nice to put a little short three in like that. That's when these things come on their own really. So I can just put a rig on there. 
I've actually opted for a, a nine jaw on there because there's obviously carp, there's um, F1s, there's little fantails. They don't count. Obviously, a pure goldfish counts. And then we've got skimmers and that. But what I don't want to do, if I do hook an F1, a fantail, a carp is playing it forever. So I've opted to fish out long a nine jura. So that that rig there, I've set up two of these. They're 4B16 F1 maggots. All me rigs are all tied on 013 because of the wear and tear from the carp. Um, this one's for fishing with pellets on a top kit and free. And I've also set up the same float, the same elastic at 13 meters, but it's 13 meters with a short free again, because I can get all my rigs on there perfect then. If I do catch little fish, I can actually swing them, which I don't know whether we're gonna catch loads of little roach. I honestly don't think you're gonna, we're gonna, well, me and Andy are five pound behind, so it's only two and a half pound a man, but to beat these two at this game now is gonna be quite, I'm just gutted yesterday. Andy's had a car at probably eight or nine pound yesterday. He must've looked at it a minute to go, so. But that's what Max Fishing's about. Obviously, me and Andy's a bit gutted, but we will try our absolute hardest today. So the rigs, really, not much at all. Bait-wise, uh, I've got some Fin Perfect 2s, which I've soaked up to the maximum, as you can see from that. They're, like, really, like, swelled out as much as they can. So I've done these as soon as I got to me peg. And I've done two lots of ground bait today. I've done... A little bit of crushed expander that's for the pellet line and i've also done my favorite mix of uh, pro thatcher's green and i've put a little tiny bit of pro thatcher's natural in there because the water i always look at the water the water is quite colored that's the only problem i think the carp and that are still really really active hopefully yesterday's sort of cold snap it's like 10 degrees 12 degrees today yeah where yesterday it was five so it's warmed up overnight. Whether that's going to affect the fishing, we don't know. But anyway, that's me ground bait. I'm doing like a bit of a worm bomb. I'm all ready to go. We've only got like five minutes to go. Um, I've done a bit of a worm bomb there. That's what I'm going to feed out at 13 metres with me short free on. And I'm also going to put a little ball like that in at a top kit in one with a little bit of loose ground bait. You never know. Them skimmers, because of the colour of the water, they might come in. It might be a waste of time. But you've got to start somewhere. So... You know, we don't know. I've only been here a couple of times. Andy, I don't think, has ever fished it before. Andy May, I think, might have fished it a couple of times. I think Lee Kerry's fished it once. So, you know, let's wait and see. That's the gear. I said 030 mainline, all tied up to 18s and 16s SFLs, all on 09 and 010 Aki Power. Um, it's quite light, but obviously we are fishing for silvers. So I'm going to finish off tidying my gear up because it's an absolute mess here. We've had a bit of rain this morning. And uh, fingers crossed, me and Powers can uh, claw it back and take it home for the safe. Right, first of all, another new venue, never been here before. Uh, looks lovely to fair trees everywhere, all hidden behind some houses. You'd never know it was here. Um, draw, obviously I've never been here before. Des has said it's the wrong end of the lake and it is a bit narrow at this end, so it makes sense that the bigger fish are sort of that end. Um, but we'll give it a go, it looks nice. Um, today I've kept it really simple. As you can see, there's a bit of a, a lily patch that runs down the middle of the lake. I think it's like a shallow bar comes up. So that's like a harder bottom to fish onto. Um, so I'm gonna target that with a little uh, XR Banjo, ICM one that I used yesterday. Um, just, you know, like you've probably heard, there's a few goldfish in it and there's a couple have actually topped in front of me. So that'll probably be the goldfish line if we have to fish it. We are five pound behind, so you know if they do catch a few better fish up that end, we might have to give that a go. I might even start on it to be fair. And then my other two rods, really simple. Got a couple of 10 foot SL rods, really light, because apparently there's a lot of little skimmers like this in here. So I'm gonna fish a little cage, um, probably like a 15 gram hex mesh, something like that or a wire cage like that. Um, obviously it's quite silty. So what I've done is I've come away from the bar a little bit, found the hardish bottom that's in sort of deeper water. Hopefully I'll catch on there without too much problems with silt and stuff. And then I've also got a line uh, this side of the bar in the silt, in the deeper water in case I have to do that as well. So that's sort of covered my bases really, bait wise. Obviously got a few two mil fishery pellets for the feeder. 
uh, well, the, the XR feeder, and I've got ground bait that was mixed up nice and dry to begin with, but I can wet it up as I go. I think worms probably going to be important, and on the hook, I've got uh, what are we doing? I'm going to start on 010, 011 to a 16 SFL hook, and now I'll, I'll probably fish maybe start on a single maggot, try a couple maggots, bits of worms. We've even got a few red worms with me, so I'm going to play around, give it a go. Hopefully Des pulls his finger out. He's not listening, it's all right. And uh, we catch a few fish and uh, all else fails. I'll go to the pet shop and buy some goldfish. So we'll give it a go. What time did you get up? Five. Five? Yeah. What was you doing up at five o'clock? I had to come here. That's took, enough of that took talk. Three Let's hours. talk about what talk? You got to get this goldfish stuff out of your head. I like catching goldfish. Yes, I know, but there's not many in here. But I've seen some. Yeah, where? Out there. Rubbish. Don't believe you. So have you? No, I've seen one top. Yeah, exactly. That's five pound. But yeah, got... exactly. No, that's the last hour. If we're in the, if we are in the doghouse, then. But go don't... goldfish are quite greedy, and they feed straight away. So I'm going to start on the goldfish. Well, I've got some feeders. flakes. <laughs> flakes. <laughs> I've got some flakes that I bought from home. Right. It's like goldfish flakes. Yeah. So if we're in the grief, we'll have to just like chuck the yeah. lot in, I think. I don't know, what have you set up then? Three rods. Uh, I've got a little XR banjo just in case we do have to have a little chuck for some goldies. Yeah. And then I've got two little 10 foot SL rods with little cage feeders on, sort of that size. Yeah, little mini ones. Um, it's quite silty, so I don't want a heavy feeder, do I? It just no, just a little I, feeder like that. It is, like I said, I think it'd be quite. I think you'll get quite a few indications on the feeder. I think you'll get a lot, quite a lot of this. A lot of little fish with no, no, with no bites. Yeah, I think they just come in, suck all your ground bait out. I don't know. It's going to be tricky, isn't it? It's going to be hard to get. I know it's only two and a half pound a man. We've got to beat them, and if we get a goldie, quick, <laughs> their heads will come off. Well, exactly. That, that, they would, wouldn't they? Their heads would come. Or clean we could off. just keep it secret and you know keep it till they the end. They won't though because I'll be shouting and yelling. Oh. Andy, goldfish. <laughs> You'll be doing that anyway, yeah, even if I don't catch them. We can't actually see them. We can't see them because there's a great big tree to my right. Uh, so we've got to go very careful that we don't get... We'll have to look out for the landing nets because we can see the landing nets and they're going to land a goldfish. That's a good point. Do not swing a goldfish. <laughs> Just <laughs> How treat, do you swing a goldfish? Or treat it as a five pound, not three ounces. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I think... I think um, yeah. Looking forward to it. Be right. It'd be good. You? I'm just a bit gutted about it. If it was, like, I know it could have been a lot worse yesterday for either of us, like as a pair. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I think to have a match. There's only one fish in it. Mental, wasn't it? Wasn't it really? Yeah. Four people, Ridic one fish. Yeah. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. So yeah. So see what it goes and um, tactics on the pole. What are you gonna do? Uh, I am gonna fish um, at the start. I'm gonna fish a top kit in one. I'm going to put a little tiny ball of ground bait in like that with a few worms in it and just fish maggots over the top see if I can catch some little roaches yep. or goldfish. <laughs> um, and then top kit and free, but with a short free, I'm going to put a pellet line in, just a bit of crust expander with a bit of um, a few micros. I won't leave that short, I won't leave that long. I think if they're going to be on it, they'll be on it. And then I've made a decision at um, 13 with a short free. I'm just going to put that worm bomb in with some dead maggots and then I have if I need to got like a corn line or something no, no? no. some crucians in there isn't there? yeah but I ain't dealing with them oh, okay. I think we can there's going to be a lot of rows today about <laughs> fantails shabumpkins crucians I don't know I, I just think skimmers are going to I think the I rules think, might change mid-match well, if they do someone's going to get nutted out <laughs> <laughs> do you hear that Adam <laughs> So you better call the air ambulance at about half past one. <laughs> um, and then I have down to me right, I'm not going to feed it at the start, but if I think pellets are going to be really good short, I'll put another pellet line in the deeper water as well. And that's it, really. Cool. It's job done, isn't it? So hopefully we can um, claw it back. Who knows? It's going to be tough, isn't it? So even though it's five pounds, unless them gold is play up. If they, I would love you to catch five gold fish on that method. <laughs> Right, we're right. Good time, so good luck. Yeah, all in. Yeah, see you in a bit. Smash them up. Yeah, good luck. So the nice thing about the style of this 
uh, event, if you like, is that obviously I'm on feeder today just to show a contrast in style. Now, generally speaking on commercials, silverfish feed, uh, fishing, feeder fishing can be uh, often a good way to start your day off. You know, you can, when the fish have backed off a little bit, you can have some great days. But we fished some silverfish matches in the winter, so I've sort of learned a few little things that can keep bites coming. Um, so I'm saying, I know Andy's gonna catch a stack. So I just need to try and back him up with uh, something on a feeder if I can. So for me, I'm looking, there's a lovely lily bed out there, but I can actually physically see the carp in it. So I don't, I'm not gonna start too close. It, like when I've plumbed it up, it's like shallower there. So as it comes away into the deeper water, I'm just gonna start there in slightly deeper water where I'd say it's probably about seven footish. Hopefully that means that I, I won't get uh, too many carp problems. And then I've got a little cheeky underarm line at six meters because obviously six meters with my rod and that, it's gonna be sort of seven meters by the time the feeder's on the bottom. And it's a great place where you can catch a lot of fish on a feeder. So if it was like, if it was a really windy day or something like that, it could even be better than a pole. But obviously I've got Andy there with a pole. So he's gonna be like my guide if it's fishing really well and there's clearly a lot of fish on his pole line. It gives me a chance to come in short and try and catch a few. So it's still relatively mild. I always say you need at least two or three frosts before baits like worms tend to stop working. So I've got some worms on my side tray in my trusty super duper worm tub. Um, I've got a few micros done up, basically bait I've stole from Andy. So I've stole a few micros. Um, I've got a few live maggots and a few dead maggots. I've not got any casters with me because it's three hours. I don't really want to overly confuse things. I'm really hoping to catch on worms. If I can catch on worms, that's when I think I could catch a big weight. Um, I think if it's not wormy, it'll be a struggle, just odd fish. And I've got some F1 dark and some uh, super feeder sweet fish meal, two parts F1 dark, one part super feeder sweet fish meal there, just because it's getting a bit cooler. Beautiful mix. The gear's dead simple. I've got two 10 foot SLs set up there with my 520 uh, extremity reels. We're only going to about 15 meters today and we're gonna be using really light feeders. So you are looking at the lighter feeder rods for that sort of game. If it was a little bit further, like when I fish a place like Hallcroft and stuff like that, and I'm looking at like 25, 30 meter line as well, that's when the 10-8 Ascension comes out of the bag so I can go a little bit further. But today, as you can see, it's, I mean, it's literally only about 17, 18 meters to those lilies. So it's a really tight peg. It's gonna be all about close feeder fishing. I'm really looking forward to it. And basically, I'm just gonna be cheering Andy on and adding a few fish extra in the net, hopefully. So I can't wait for it. It's gonna be a really interesting day. Right then, folks, we are at the beautiful Riddings Fishery today where hopefully we are definitely gonna hold on to our lead. So dead simple day today for me. I'm gonna welly loads of casters in short, tap a few tippy tappy micros in long and hopefully ship back a skimmer every single chuck. Rigs wise, dead simple. So we have got Starting off on this bad boy for out long, we have got a 4.16s, one fine. Uh, 0.16 mainline on absolutely everything. And we've got the, probably my favorite still elastic in the whole wide world, folks, is the 6s slip. Preston 6s slip just does absolutely everything. Even for like, we don't want to catch great big wobbly carps today, but even if we up great big wobbly carps, we're going to get them out on there and everything. We are, folks, I'm just going to keep pulling. Uh, so yeah, so two number eight back shots just above the float there. Coming down the rig, pretty much all my shotting today, apart from one rig, is all tapered. So you can see there, there's 18 inches, and that's where my shot is ending up. So we've got number eights here, five number eights, and then we've got two number nines coming down here. In fact, no, I'm lying to you folks. We've got three number nines there, and then we've got five number eights there. All hooks are 18s, SFLBs to 0.9, four inches. Yeah, so that's the first one. That's what I'll be starting off on. If I feel there's like, Loads of like these little popper dummies, skimmery bobs, booms there, and I want to get down right nice and quick to them because I'm getting a few light liners and what have you. That's when I'm going to come over to this rig. So, exactly the same line, main line, hook length, but just a little bit more positive for rear inflow. F1 maggot, 416s again, but this time, folks, we have got look at that where that bulk is there. So, the end of the bulk is around sort of 13 inches cheeky and then we've got two number nines just below that and again a four inch up length on so 
if I feel there's a lot of fish there and I want to sort of like, you know, get away from obviously the lines or potentially foul up fish and just get thump straight down to him, get job done, then this rig will definitely come into play. I've also got a short swim, which I've got two rigs to cover. One for on the bottom, which is, it's pretty much identical to what I'm fishing further out. It's only sort of eight inches shallower, it's just on a nice slope. Um, difference with this one is we're just fishing up that little bit finer that's all so exactly the same weight in float 416s me tapers a little bit further away and we've got number 10s on this one instead of number nines just bringing that rig in or in the bottom third where the fish are going to be just bringing it in that little bit slower exactly the same hook and hook length sflb 18s to four inches dead shut up stop putting me off and then the last rig for over that line because, folks, as you know, I do like to get a little bit giddy when I'm loose feeding, I'm convinced that them fish are going to come shallow today. Absolutely convinced of it. Loads of colour in the water, probably because of the rain and not... No, it's probably the carp's colouring up as well, but I've got this 410's F1 fine float to, like, cover everything. Yeah, you can see how much line I've got between Poulter and float there, a good sort of two and a half foot, so I can fish this rig, you know, over a, over a, a good distance kind of thing. So if it feels I'm getting sort of liners and what have you and missing bites on the bottom rig, then I'm just going to pick this bed, but, but big boy, bad boy up, and hopefully catch loads on that. But I've never, ever fished this lake before, folks. I've only ever fished the, the one with an island, and I'm not sure what it's called. Um, but I believe there's lots of lot sort of like poppadoms in here, but loads of sort of like carps and goldfish and brown goldfish and things like that. Um, not sure about the roach numbers, but I'm going to go for bait. Oh, you've got to see how much blooming bait I've got. So then my rigs, nice and simple. Bait wise, we've got some worms, so I've chopped some worms up. I don't really want to use these, but if I really, really have to, then obviously they've got to come into play. So we've got some right fine minced worms there, some worms for, for the hook. But what I'm going to be using is these beauties. Two mil and four mil expanders on the hook. We're going to be feeding a few two mils. Little babby two mils there, fish re-owned, just completely soak them, let them absorb all that water. I've got some, oh God, it's already got some bait, folks. We've got some of the bestest casters from the bestest tackle shop in the old wide world, Dave's and Middlewitch's casters there. We've got some of them. We've got, I think you know what the bait limit is here, folks. I might, I might be over the bait limit. Uh, we've got some magwise there. We've got some yellows in there. We've got some discos, the odd white one. We've got some, not stopped yet, folks, we're not stopped. Got some Disco Pinker Wise, the bestest skimmer hook bait in the old wide world for me. Dead red maggot in a Disco Pinker Wise. Amazing. And we've got some dead magwise there. And last of all, folks, we have got some ground bait. Some ground bait mix of choice is Super Crush Expander and the Worm Fish Meal. Mix sort of more worm fish meal. So I'm going to say 75% to... 25% in favour of worm fish meal. Really, really over wet. Uh, did that as soon as I got to my peg, left it sort of 20 minutes, went back to it, got it really over wet again, put it through a four mil riddle and away we go. So I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna introduce anything of that to start off with. I just wanna tap a few pellets in and see what the score is. But if I feel as though it's a, a case of me putting a lot of bait in and fishing it out, then obviously I'm gonna bring the ground bait into play. But we've only got three hours, folks. You'd think I was here for six hours, wouldn't you, the amount of bait I've got. What are you saying, team? Have you got my bait? Team, or what? I've, I've got yeah, I bought you a brew. all of us, I think, Lee. You, yes, you legend. Yeah. We're gonna do it, mate. Listen, listening to you there, we're definitely gonna do it. I've, I've, what I'm thinking is... Every eventuality, innit? I'm just gonna chuck an empty feeder and you can raft some of that bait <laughs> into my peg. That'd be fantastic. I think I need to do that every single match to go in, Lee, don't Oh, I? that'd be brilliant. Feed for everyone. Communal feeding area. Yeah, yeah. I reckon, listen, you've got it. You, as long as you don't set that shallow rig up, which I, you promised me you wouldn't, that'd be great. Lee, it wouldn't be me if I didn't set a shallow rig up. No, 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 no. Come on, mate. I think you are. It's not like proper shallow. I think it could be the one today, shallow. Because Potentially. we get carped out on deck, so you're the man. You're the man. Uh, I'm just going to watch you know. I can't wait. It's fantastic. What a great day. <laughs> yeah, boy. I'm my brew. Wish us luck, folks. Guys, are you ready? Ready? Yeah. All in! Come on, Lee! Smash him to bits! There's a row, isn't it? Stop. I've got a carp on. Just started off on a feeder. Short, this is where it gets on my nerves with these short freeze. 
What are you going for, starting up wisely? Um, I'm feeding some worms long and I'm feeding some worms short. And then I'm going to have a cheeky chuck in the reeds to see if there's any rud there. Like it, mate. That's what I'm going to do, Andy. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And I've fed twice as many worms short as I have long, which means I've fed two feeders rather than one. Because I don't, I don't ever see the point in piling in on a commercial. Oh, no. You know, dead steady, not, you know. You've got to take it steady, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't put loads of bait in, like ever. Oh, no. What's, what's the point in that, mate? So, that's my plan anyway. So we're going to see, and I'm going to literally have a quick sample chuck and just see if there is a rud on the on the rut on the and not and, and not a carp and not a carp because it looks to me like there'll be a carp it's getting it's getting one little tiny feeder full and then i'm i'm hoping there's like 30 rud to catch dead quick really hard not to overfeed it that pot a nightmare here andy is what? I've had a nightmare here. I've not been ready for start. We're seeing your pop of Oh dear. Oh, it might not be. That's a skimmer, that is. It's a goldfish, that, mate. I reckon we've got an instant five pound here, Lee. I would laugh. I would enjoy it, I've got to be honest. It is, it's not a skimmer, mate. It's a skimmer, that is. No. Don't go. Nice big two pound. Oh, it's foul dupe. A fa <gasps> ah, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> right, one more chuck, see if there's a rod there. That was like the best bite I've ever had as well. I think there's one or two there then. I think there's one or two there, mate. I had a feeling there might be. Might be a little bit too pungy then, pellets, mightn't it? Might have to go balls deep on worms and magwise. Oh, I had a rud bite, Andy. Did you? Yeah, I did, yeah. I thought there might be some rud by them reeds. Missed him though. He's going back out of the empty. Hold me rod. I've got a tea, no sugar with three sugars in it. It's fantastic. Need it the old winding you're gonna to do today. Oh. All that power winding. Yeah. Oh dear. Be seeing you. Don't think that's uh, skimmer Lee. No, I'm afraid not, mate. Oh dear. I feel that could be a familiar tale for you, Andy. Might be a Thomas. There's tension here. Might be a tench, Lee. Never know, mate. It's not a tench, is it? Golf, F1 or a goldfish that was. That definitely was not a Thomas. The key word for today is shibumpkin. Any, uh, any indications, Ann? I've actually missed a bite. Um, but it might have been a little silverfish or something. Ooh, it was what, what I'd start on a method just to see what, what was what. Um, yeah, nothing yet. You? I've had two, I've had a little hybrid and a little roach. Sure, I've just gone on, just gone on my pet line. I've just looked out on my worm line and it's like pinging up like mad. So, but I just dropped in on that pet line. Sure. And uh, hopefully there'll be some skin bobs there, but. A little drop back. 
The odd liner from fish there, but I don't know what they are. Yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think Lee's caught on the feeder yet. I think Andy's. Uh, I'll have one more chat. Ooh. Another little bite on expander then. Or a bite? I've, I've uh, it kept dropping back. I was cast on something really steep, I think. Not oh, silver, that, is it? Silver carp seen it yet. Two pound goldfish would be handy. <laughs> Although, not even two pounds, just a goldfish would be very nice. No, I don't think that's going to count. Definitely not a, uh, a Goldilocks. Hmm. That one's a little F1. F1? Yeah. <laughs> oh, who's that? Andy! What you got there, man? <laughs> Do you want your photo of it? I'll tell you, that was a hell of a lift bite. I'm not sure what it was. It was so small, I couldn't even work it out. <laughs> could see his heart beating, it was that small. Solely. Er... <laughs> uh, it's mission avoid carps at the minute. Yeah, it's uh, there's obviously it's nice conditions. It's not mega cold yet, and there's still odd little little carp feeding. So like your pellets, that was just carpy, weren't it? Yeah, I had four in four chucks. If I looked a skimmer, I thought, oh, we're on a nest of skimmers. Uh, no, four in four. I'll just put some a neat ball of chop worms in. Uh, I won't say I've had a bite over it. I've had a little roach there, but that was off the bottom. So I've just started introducing some magwise. Not many. Just like four, five, six, that's all. Yeah. I don't know what to do. I can't even get a bite on a maggot in the pinky. The best is skimming up bait of all time, Lee. Yeah. There's an odd fish... There's an odd fish in my peg around my feeder, but they, they're certainly not easy to catch at the moment, mate. Oh, dear, Lee. See what I am happy about, Andy. Go on, mate. Five pound lead. Bloody hell. <laughs> I up there having the same bother up there. Oops. I hope they're having the same bother. I've seen Dave catch a couple of skimmers, but like not big ones. Um, I think I've seen Andy Power have a silverfish. So they're in my peg. I'm, get, I'm getting like odd little. They're not. They're not carpy taps. That I'm getting. No, you're getting little bobby taps. Getting little bobby taps. Yeah. But they don't want to. Don't want to pull my rod round just yet. I just had one little one. What's happening, Dave? Uh, I just started catching now. 
Little I have skimmer. got a goldfish. Little skimmers. Yeah, and a goldie. Well done. White, pure white. It's got to be gold. Adam just nodded his head and said, yep, yeah, that's fine. Good job we got it on camera. It's got to be orange, eh? Yeah, it was an old, wasn't it? Powers has had five. Any silverfish for power? Yeah, he's, Paris has got about three pound, I reckon. You? Nothing, mate. Hey? Nothing. Nah. Andy's had a few little skimmers, mate. Not, not, not big. Just short of three pound, the biggest one. Right, so we're about half an hour in. Um, didn't get me goldfish on the method, but I've swapped to a little cage feeder. And I'm, um, here we go, getting quite a few bites off the little skimmers now. Um, just got some batches green and dark mixed together with some black F1. Smallest hex mesh feeder, 15 gram, and uh, this one's on a little piece of worm, just on a little sort of 12 to 18 inch foot length. I'm going to mess around with it as the day goes on because I'd imagine I'm going to miss a lot of bites off a fish like that. Here's my disgorger. Ooh, where's that gone? There it is. Yeah, so uh, it might just be uh, a day of ploughing through these little fish. Hopefully there's a few bigger bigger fish in here. It's got to be the odd bream and that. Maybe a tench or something, so keep a bit of worm going through. Then we might catch a bit of everything, so let's stick with it. There's a start getting the odd bite on the pole now. Yeah, it's uh, quite good. At least we're getting plenty of bites. Hopefully we can claw it back. So 40 minutes in and mm, there's a, it's an interesting situation actually. Oh, Mr. Bite. Um, there's a lot of fish. There's a lot of fish in the lake, obviously. It's a great lake, but a lot of those fish don't really count. And that's proving a little bit of a problem for me and Andy because Andy, so far, we've caught a lot of non-counters. You much more than me, I would say. Yes. Um, so you're, we've had a little bit of a change of plan, early change of plan. I've just had a drop in on my short line and caught two skimmers, which is great. And Andy is just having a little go shallow, Andy, aren't you? Just started, just had a roach and I've just missed a bite. Um, I don't know what else to do with it. got go anywhere, Ugh, that's fell off. Nobody likes him fall off. Go anywhere near the bottom, we just get a blooming little brown goldfishy hybrid crucian you thing. So, I'm going to do shallow I think, for I think the fact that I can get a few bites short is really good because I'm not, I'm not sort of looking for the big hurrah, but I think there's definitely some, you know, I've had a couple of carp on my longer line and it's all hard to fish for those tiny fish when you try and fish long with the feeder. Yeah. So I'm thinking if I literally can try and catch them without tangling me up length, which is always a difficulty when you're fishing short, trying to get the non-hook length tangled chuck. At least you can see it. Might have to give it the old swing the other way, perhaps. Let's try. Lovely, that's absolutely beautiful. That's what? So I'm just trying to get it so I don't tangle me up length, Andy. Which is quite hard. But there's, but there's some... What was that, Zolt? Like a sneeze, only feminine. Have a word, Adam. Yeah. So, I'm saying, I'm actually... I'm happy now because look, Andy's shipping a few fish. I'm getting a few bites. So we don't have to, I don't think it's gonna be a massive weight job because I don't feel like anyone's gonna be able to queue up a load of skimmers with the being- with short them, time we've got, isn't it? You know, we've only got three hours and um, I don't feel like anyone's gonna be able to queue up any skimmers without getting, having all sorts of problems with obviously carp and that. So. If I can get a bite like that, as quick as that, regularly, I'm going to be super happy. I've got to be careful though, when you're chucking in regularly on a feeder, you can easily overfeed your peg. It's like really easy to do. 
Andy's just had a drop in short. How's that going, mate? So, do you know what I think the problem is with that? That noise from that loose feed, they love it, don't they? Custard, isn't it? I've had it so many times. I'm going to change to Magwise, me, Lee. That's a good might idea. Be, might be a massive hybrid. Hey, you never know. Is that shallow? Yeah. Oh my God. It's not an hybrid, is it, Lee? You never know, I'd buy it. It's an F1. F1 shallow? Uh, yeah. I don't know what this is. This is, this is hybrid, pulling a bit well, out. It is an it. hybrid, but not like an hybrid that we want. Yeah, what have I got here, Andy? Only a root. Oh, you legend. Only right, a root. I'm having a lovely day's fishing. That's going back away. That exactly what, um, no, that's a not a chance. Not a chance. I've had about 19 of them. I was going to say, you've had that many of them, it's ridiculous. Right, no casters, Lee. No casters. At least I've got a lot of bait left. I'm very buoyed by the amount of bites I've had there, Andy. I'm, my morale's massively picked up. Whoa. I think I'm probably getting some bites there because then Oops. bigger fish haven't come on there yet. They're too small to catch, are they? What do you think? They're too small at the moment, mate. Just missing a million bites, Andy. Is what? Are you just missing bites on it? No. Just not what we want. That's not a skimmer, is it? No. <laughs> uh, not much going on in my pegsol other than hooking lots and lots of uh, disqualified fish. So lots and lots of brown goldfish, lots and lots of hybrid crucian things. We had a little carp. I'm just getting the odd, like very odd, roach. But if you're nowhere near the bottom. I'll just get uh, an F1 or a crucian thing. Unfortunately, can't put any number of silvers together. I changed it to maggots there, not casters, just because of the noise difference. I'm convinced these bites I'm missing aren't uh, roach. There I am. Well, that might be a big proper dom. It's not a big proper dom, is it? It's not a big proper dom, Lee. It's, it shows how many are feeding, Andy, that it's flat calm and you can catch shallow short. Oh, mate. Right, so... Might be a big hybrid. One of these days, it will be a big hybrid, won't it? When I say it, it will be. One of these days, mate. Go on. Go on. It's not today though, is it? You'd have a right day on here though, wouldn't you? Oh, the fishing's unbelievable. What, what you're catching is unbelievable. Great just, fishing. Just going to have a quick diddly ding dang on the bottom. What I'm going to say to you is, feeding like tiny, like I'm feeding every chuck with little bits of worm. Worming? And just fishing a worm and I'm getting loads of bites. Oh, yeah. Yeah, loads of bites and not from the wrong fish. Maybe potting dead regular with little balls of worms might be good. And I'm talking like, look, not even that filled with bait. So you reckon a little bobby pot on that long line would be good? Or even, or, or, or even there. Even Just there. literally pop one in, catch one fish, pop one in, catch one, catch one fish. Just never do on the bottom. Because mm. there's like, Andy, there's loads of bites there. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Right, like nice roach and had a couple of skimmers, isn't it?
So we're halfway through, as you can see, heavens have opened, unfortunately. Um, but fishing wise, it's a little bit tricky. I would say Team North have just got the edge, but it's going to be close again. Obviously the five pound advantage is, is going to be massive with the uh, silver fish. No goldfish quarters yet, so no bonus five pound for anyone. Although I think Andy Perrin and Des definitely need to brush up on their fish species skills because they're trying to claim loads of F1s as being cruisions. Um, in terms of tactics, it seems to be short, fishing short with a feeder and short with a pole is, is, is working well. Um, those longer lines seem to be where the F1s and the carp are hanging around, so they're having a few problems with those. But yeah, it's going to be mega close again. Um, but like I say, I think Team North have just got the edge on today. Right, so we're about an hour and a half in now. Um, by the sounds of it, we're doing okay. I'm getting a lot of, well, I think they're crucians anyway, <laughs> coming in. Um, but I've been told they don't count. Um, noticed that Lee was fishing really short on a feeder and Des is catching quite short on the pole, so I've just dropped it in short. I had a little lucky tent straight away, a couple of skimmers, which is a bit of a bonus. But my other line, um, sort of, out there in the deeper water has been quite good uh, but the skimmers are a lot smaller than I expected and like I said I'm getting a lot of crucians I'm sure they're crucians but we're not counting them <laughs> in between which is sort of ruining it in a little bit for the skimmers so it's just a bit of a case of swapping in between the two lines um, but Des is doing all right aren't you mate? I had a nice run but it's just gone off a bit I'm starting to get liners now so it might be them uh or cruising fantails, whatever they are, but yeah, I had a nice little run of skimmers, like up to like a pound, some of them, which was all right. But it's just faded away for a bit. I thought it was just going to keep bagging, to be honest. But it's like they've come off the bottom at the moment. Andy, Andy may still get any, he's starting to catch a few. I think we're doing all right at the moment, oh mate. There's a fish there, look. That, if that's a bream, we're packing up. That's not a bream. That's not a bream. <laughs> But I've been lucky really, I've not hooked. I've only had one sort of non-counter, haven't I? But that's a carp, that was miles off the bottom as well. Look at that. That might do me actually. It's definitely a non-counter. So yeah, at the moment, we're doing all right, but I think Lee, I don't know whether Lee's catching. I think you're doing all right on the feeder. That's the main thing today. If we can just keep coming. But five pound behind is quite a few fish, isn't it? Yeah, especially when they're this small. I think it depends what Lee's doing, really. Yeah, I've not seen his net go out much, to be honest, but I can't really see him because of that tree. But you'll have a few. That is definitely a non-counter. That's a big old carp as well, that feels like it. Could, yeah. Didn't want in. But yeah, I think we're doing all right, mate. Just got to keep coming, haven't we? Just got to keep going. And I think Andy's seen me chucking those little balls in short and little balls of thatchers and whatever he, I don't know what he's using, but he's obviously seen me do it and he started catching a few on it as well. Getting lots of indications, short though. You me? Yeah. No, not really. Got the forecast wrong, any didn't they? Said it was going to be nice and dry and. I won't need my coat in a minute. I'm just thinking about um, just doing a little mix up with like dead maggots and that in it so I can get some dead maggots down to the bottom. There you go. Just got to be a bit patient. They're all right though, Anne, didn't they? Six ounces, seven ounces. Maybe eight ounces. I just lost a tench. 
Hey. I think I've just lost the tench. You're on the laugh, aren't you? <laughs> Might have Honestly. Been a you just lost the tench? Or accretion. How'd you lose that? Come off. Well, yeah. How'd you know? Did you see it? It felt like it. Yeah, I had that cruising earth out of the tench, and it was a. Well, it was a counter, but we we're not allowed. <laughs> counter, not counter, but counts, but it doesn't count because it's not a crucian, but it is a crucian. Gangs of goldfish. Thank you. <laughs> Do you want to talk about that a bit? Well, I've just had a goldfish, 18 pound. You have? Yeah. Well, fortunate enough, I have actually had a goldfish, but we're keeping it quiet. Ooh. This might actually be another one, but it, you know, so we, we've got, it's been confirmed by the adjudicator, we've got five pounds to play with. That is a massive bonus, that. Oh, what's that? Ah. Uh, it does look like a crucian, but apparently that doesn't count. But we've got one that does. So, uh, yeah, I was getting a bit worried because I wasn't, I was just sort of falling behind a little bit. But now we've got a bit of a buffer to play with. Although we were still five pound behind from yesterday, but Des seems to be catching well, so hopefully we'll be all right. Nice little finish, maybe another. Um, but yeah, it all depends on what the others are catching, but at the minute we're doing all right, I think. Well, I've just had a a 10 pound carp which ain't really much cop but anything the only problem now i think the acrasios well f1's little fantail things have moved in so i might have to go back Catch out and get a gold try one. to look after it but there is some skimmers there skimmers are gone, aren't they? it's just a case of sort of going through it proper ones. um the only option i've got really is to come back on a top kit in one this is obviously down the shelf a little bit this is just <gasps> And that, and that don't count. That's got. <laughs> Someone get me a drink. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Them two goldfish that you've taught, uh, taught, I think you've caught them both, Andy. Yeah. Uh, well. What about a pound skimmer? Does that count as well? Right then, Lee, halfway point. Mm. I think we're a bit behind, mate. Yeah, we are, yeah. It's hard to pin anything down still, though, isn't it? You know what I mean? Mm. Try it's... feeding a little bit. You just get too many F1s in your peg. I had a, I had a little run of skimmers. Yeah. And uh, I had a little run of bites on this line, on this field line, but it's it's gone a bit now. I mean, I can see Des, Des is absolutely shanking. This Des is absolutely bagging at the moment. He's, he's getting a skimmer every single put in, which is incredible, really, when you think they... We keep getting disturbed by other fish, but like that, like yours there, that's the problem. That's the first one I've had there, though, that really. Is it? First one I've had in a while. I'm thinking that, well, I don't know what, I can't see Andy Power, so I don't know what he's got. Um, but I can just catch an odd rogue little skimmer like that. So I'm just ticking, I'm just ticking over. I don't see the point of me going out long no. for him. Got to be honest. Um, but just trying to figure out what's best. Whether it's best to feed every chuck or 
But the I don't. You try and put any feed in. You just. The problem it. is, is that caught a couple of F ones, and I feel like lost track of where I was. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, does it need the bait or not? So, I mean, what about you? You're just flicking an odd maggot over the top, aren't you? I'm literally fishing. You know, I got really carped out at Makins the other week, and I started putting hardly anything in. You know, five or six maggots. Yeah. And that's how I've been catching them there. That's the first like vermin fish that I've had on the bottom there. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't it doesn't seem right. I've, I've got to put some bait in, and as soon as I put some, yeah. Um, you just feel like if you top up, you're going to get bit. You're going yeah, to get. Soon, well, as soon as I did before, I put a little worm bomb in, and I got an F1. Straight yeah, of course away. you did. Yeah, yeah. It'll be interesting to see what. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm. Every time it, I feed out there now, I'm getting a squirrel. I want to go and see what they are. I don't know if they're F1s or not. Great big roach. They might be, they might be ten ounce roach, Lee, mightn't they? Might be. We'll have a do in a bit. You've got to put some bait in. The bites are just too. It's waiting too long for them. Go on, Lee. One thing I would say, Andy, is your peg doesn't seem out of control. Do you know what I mean? It seems to me like you, you know, it's not it's not frantic, but when you get them, they're the right fish, aren't they? Yeah. Just it's difficult though, isn't it, when you can't bloody feed anything, Lee? You can't imagine any of them maggots I'm feeding getting to the bottom, can you? I wouldn't have thought so. No. So obviously that initial feed that I put in of all that ground bait. Keeping a few there, isn't it? But yeah, just holding a few. Right, you know, none of them will be getting to the bottom, surely. You wouldn't have thought so, would you, mate? Come on. Just need a good run of popper dons. Des hasn't got his pot on Andy anymore, so he's obviously not feeding regularly. Right. I've not seen him feed all that time we were talking. I've not seen him feed it. You <laughs> I've not seen him feed anything. <laughs> Has he put any loose feed in there? No. Has he put any I've not seen him loose feed at all, mate. Not, not at all. Not seen him loose feed and I've not seen him Feed with the pot or anything, I'll tell you if he does. Them's them, Andy, them's them. You just keep going, old pal. You just keep going, old pal. What they want, isn't they? Them's them. That's what we want. tonight Lee? Um, poor, I don't really know. Hey up, two minutes to go. I'll go on then. Two minutes to go, that's not what we wanted Andy. Uh, no. Oh, he's Just taking me up. Like oh, he's even had me up Andy. Has he actually? Yeah. Chuck into pads and catch a goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> with the last seconds of the day. Gone for me here. That last 40 minutes has been rubbish for me. Yeah. Yeah, it's been poor, hasn't it mate? 
It's been absolute. I've had a brilliant run at the end there, like literally brilliant. Yeah. But I don't think it's, I just don't think the fish are very big. But I've really, enjoy, I've really enjoyed it. So oh. many fish. Oh, it's been good. It's nice to get bites, isn't it? Frustrating when you, you can't pin the fish that you want. No. Or anything, isn't it? Well, no, you catching exactly. now, Lee? Is what it is. What? You catching now? It's been solid last 20 minutes, Des, solid. What, skimmers? Yeah, like hand-sized ones though, pal. Uh, right, we got 20 pound. I, I doubt it very much, they're very small. Between us, you will. Yeah, we've got a team weight of 20 pound, yeah. you got more than that. Andy's got 15 to 20. Well, no. 11-2 I've got. What do five goldfish go? Well, there's only one goldfish counts. No, five. Five is the same as one, isn't it? No, don't start all that rubbish. Andy's fish for them with... Sure I have air one goldfish per team. Nobody's fish for goldfish, don't give me that. Andy's fish, Andy's fish with air rig fleet. All out. Oh, all come out. on, I was just enjoying that. I was just getting into it, Adam. I don't believe it. It's Andy, actually, he's just gone dead the last 10 minutes. I'm not on the bike for 20 minutes, eh? Well done, boys. Well done. Well done, you two. Well done, oh, again. <laughs> two days on the trot, smashed into the ground. No, not with five goldfish. Oh, is it? Reckon. One is. Reckon that one it? showed me that one's all. Yeah. Right. Well done, Lee. Awesome, that, mate. No, I didn't. How many votes are we on? 51% no, he's not Debbie started, yeah. is the owner of the fishery. Yeah, she she should have one. the last say. <laughs> I agree. Anyway. I agree she should. And I'm saying you look very beautiful today. I'm just Listen, saying. too late. I've been here several times and said that to her. Lee. So Damn. You're, you're at least three visits behind. Come on, then. <coughs> are we going? Are you happy? Ready when you are. It's too small. Are we doing two? Are we doing yeah. Lovely fishing. Lovely fishing. Well, Very small. Too small. Oh, you said 16 pounds. Bang on the money. Stone. Is that 16 pounds? I thought it was 40. more. 16 when I, when I wave myself. <laughs> it's one nice stone. <laughs> when I wave myself. Don't let it go down. <laughs> I think it's 46 More than me there, Bobby. 46 pounds? I think you're looking at the scales. 16, right? 12. Uh, 46 12, that is. Another one you've got your contacts around the wrong way. It's called winding you up there. That's 46 pounds. It was 12 a minute ago. 16 10. Oh, never. Oh. There you go, look. Absolutely brilliant fishing that was. Three hours on a feeder. Only small ones. But loads of bites. Really good fishing that was. Also, I've got to be tension with golfers in top of that. Well, you're not lying, Andy. I told you. Nope, nope, told you. Oh, yeah. That's a nice fish, eh? Hey? That is a that's an look at that. Oh, that's, that's, that's a straight. <laughs> that is an I'll tell you what, shall we have a. Let's go on Facebook again. If you say yes or no, and Andy getting disqualified. Sorry. I forgot about that. Andy's got about 10 minutes, isn't it? You've done him on the feeder. Jesus. Seriously, I'm I'm feeding, I am feeding for you, mate. Thanks, mate. I am. Thanks. I am, honestly. <laughs> I think next year, should we um, have a North oh, no, I'm, 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 I'm backing him. I'm backing him, man. I'm trying my hardest to back my man. Should we have a mixed one next year? What do you mean? North and south and north and south? Yeah, right, okay. I just don't think it's. No. It's time to get Matty Dawson next year. I'll just fish on your own. He said he's busy. Lovely fishing. Right, all the big ones first, yeah? <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's <laughs> just fish, fish under two pound net, that was. I forgot to put some in there. Look at 
Damn. Yeah, lovely stamp, aren't they? Esther? So what's that? Twenty-two-six. Well done, mate. Well done, Dave. Cheers. Tremendous. Look at them, doll. Lovely fish, they are. Beautiful fishing, isn't it? All right. It's not there all day. So, what's that now? Jamie? Don't lie to me. Does he? Whip the five pound pedal What's that, sorry? Whip the five pound pedal on to you. And he needs 15 pounds. And he needs 15 pounds. So he's what? Well, that doesn't include goldfish then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's got his goldfish, hasn't he? So, happy days, hasn't it? Here we go. Well. Just, what is this for a moral victory? Sure. You'll bring me <laughs> All I up. can say no. is no? on sure. We don't need F1s. Sure, there's only one person to play. Well, I have to play him because I said if he hasn't got all his We need to weigh... I think what we need to do is weigh right. the goldfish. So, right, let's just check what the Instagram vote is. Forget right. that. Because no. no. you've already allowed it. It's irrelevant. You, you you, Adam, you're our the media manager. 53% yes, just so the camera can see. Debbie put three votes down just a minute ago. Come oh, on, put your skimmers oh, on the scales. Point. Let's have a look. So He's got all his scratches, yeah. Gone. Just chuck them on, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Be close about them. Like. Oh, yeah. Hang on, we can't. <coughs> Hang on, you can't weigh them, though. <laughs> They're counting five pounds, you can't weigh them. That's a goldfish every day at week. That's a goldfish every day at week. Yeah, that one's not. That's like a toy hybrid, come on. It's nine pound dead. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sure. Sorry, mate. <laughs> sorry, mate. Hey, I, like I said, I'm sorry, I, Andy. Isn't it, well isn't done, Andy. Isn't, <laughs> isn't it one goldfish? Well done, well done, Andy. I knew it. <laughs> We knew it. I that bought, I that, bought a that goldfish fish counts food. five pound, doesn't it? No, I bought Just some one goldfish. Three goldfish counts fifteen pound. Well, it doesn't matter. It up. doesn't matter. Let's just allow the two gold ones. Two gold just ones. Let, just let one, it's and then they're even, a pound short. I think that's great. Let's not even worry about. There's a definite the two, which means you definitely win. Well, well done, lads. Well, well done, goldfished. Unlucky, Lee. Well, well done, done well, well, well done, well done, lads. Well, well done, mate. Another great match. Well done, Dev. Well, Fantastic. Anyway. Sorry, Lee. I thought I had a bit more in that, ah, this is live. Sorry, mate. I thought I had 20 points of 30 paint. Did you? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I thought I had. No, I did. Well, I'm not that old, isn't it? Nice fishing, though. Yeah. Great fishing. 23 hours, isn't it? Very good, yeah. very, very good. good fishing. Yeah, very, fishing. very good fishing. Loads of bites. Do you want to go ahead next year or do you want to just finish? Well, what's the rule? Are we adding to no, we I'm have serious, to add though, to because I don't want to get, like go like... I don't know. I think Lee should just fish on his own. Let's go on a canal. If he and fishes the feeder and the pole at the same time, yeah, you know I mean? <laughs> catch more than me. Yeah, he'd be like that. <laughs> Octopus in it. Oh, he's enjoying it. Right, uh, that's been like, that's, like. So what? Without the goldfish, I don't even want to. Well, well we've won it without the goldfish. You've won it with a goldfish. So fair play. That's, 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 there'd have been four pounds between you. Six pounds. Six. six pounds. We'd have done by six pounds. I said one goldfish, weren't it? Who's the one who mentioned the goldfish? I don't know. You mentioned the goldfish. No, no, hang on. You didn't have the goldfish weighed, mind. So if they would have weighed... <laughs> you can't weigh yeah, them! Well, yeah, we can, can't we? <laughs> well, no, well, how about them 30F1s you've caught? Yeah. Well, no, Andy, hang on, let's, let's show you the crash you. Oh, he's, he's put them in his net. These, the, these were the 50 50s. Oh, we didn't know there was another one. Oh, right, there's another one. Yeah. These were the 50 50s. We didn't know about these ones. Is that what you've had? Is that, yeah, I think I said, what have you been doing? There's a net. They're lovely fish, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. I'm a class, them. Lovely, I'm, I'm a class every one of them is a goldfish. Tell you what we could have done, we could have had them count in general, because he's had 30 of them. Yeah, you'd have fished a bit differently. Of course you would, that's what we were saying. Orange spot on that one, isn't it? There is an orange one, isn't there? Yeah, I know. You don't know. Carp count, carp don't count, and then all them count. You've had some big carp. I've had a few great big carp. I don't think I've had any carp. They're real beautiful, they are. Like that, that deep, and like a great big dustbin lid. Brilliant fishing. Anyway, yeah, well that's that. Loved I, it. I can actually, Absolutely loved it. I can actually drive home tonight, Andy, with a smile on my face. 
Oh, that's so not normally then. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, last, last night, last night. I was, no, no, no. I was <laughs> depressed <laughs> last night. Did you count three goldfish then? Right. That one. That's enough, Jamie. Don't hear it. Facts are done. What did they ask? Total? 64. What was it? What's that? Go on, give us some stats. Six pound. You and Lee, Andy and Lee, 164.9. Yeah. And if you count two goldfish for Desna and Don't keep mentioning the gold. It's his fault. If you don't count the media any manager, goldfish, he made the decision. 169.30. That's all it matters. Yeah, 159.30. Thank you, Adam. I'll get that Christmas present. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that now and give it to you at Christmas. Right? 159.30. Why did they open them up about gold? Is it you? Is this you talking about goldfish getting him all excited yesterday? Ooh, let's have a goldfish rule. Yeah. Could have counted a pound. Yeah. That would have been great. Did you guys stock goldfish? I flip here now. Did you not fish for one then? All day. I fish for him. I fish for him from start to finish, Andy. To be fair. Yeah, I didn't put them flakes on. Brilliant. Great, great. Come on, well done, Sam. Yeah, brilliant. Love it. I do feel for you, Lee. Lovely, lovely. I feel for him as well, fishing with me. Someone's got to though. I think you fish really nicely over the two days. Yeah, yeah. This day. You just say it again without laughing. No, no. Cut that, say it again no, without laughing. On a serious note, it's one of them, innit? What's that out there? Have you it's fry. Yeah, no, it's it's loads of fry. Uh, okay. Loads of fry. So, um, there you go. Great fishing, love it. It was, it was very, very good. Right. Very close, very close, considering yes. yesterday could have been a complete all over anyway. Yeah, no, it was brilliant. It? It I, think, been, I think what happened yesterday made it brilliant. It so. could have been all over yesterday. Yeah, it it if someone would have walked away with it. To have it that close after day one is on a carp venue like that. It's, it's, made it's, it really it's enjoyable, crazy. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Made it really enjoyable. So that concludes North versus South rematch, and it's been an interesting day. And I'm stood here again with the winners for the second time with um, the help of some little bonuses. Well, we fish for him. You have Andy, fish for him, I'll give it you. Yeah. We said at the start, didn't we, Anne, that if you don't catch, to get that five pound back from yesterday was going to be very difficult on this venue. Yeah. With those two, you know, you're not being fun. You've got Lee Carey, who's like England, England feeder, feeder <laughs> extraordinaire. You know, he does this day in, day out, as well as everything else he does, obviously. So I did say to Andy, it's going to be a tall order, didn't I, after the match yesterday, to actually beat Lee on the, this sort of fishing on a yeah. feeder. So. Uh, well, you've seen a goldfish top this morning. Two of them. And yeah. then he's like, I'm having that. <laughs> and what um, happens? Well, yeah. I mean, to put it into picture, I think the weights from today were you had 31.6 and they had 32.2. So That's unbelievable. Mega close. Obviously, without the goldfish, they would have won by six pounds. But he caught two and one that was, that was up for debate. So... And what happened with the general public? <laughs> the general public? The general... Voted, yes. Yeah, they did. So, so you thank you very much, all the general. Even though we didn't really need that goldfish, <laughs> it was nice to know that you actually back in the South Boys. So thank you very much. So that concludes the rematch. I think the score is now well and truly settled, and mm. Team South are the champions. Well, thank you very much, Adam. No problem. I thank know you. you know it's one of them, isn't it? You, you know we're very, we are very even them two today. We, I can't see them because that tree, and I can hear them. Andy's getting his hair off. You know they are they they're desperate to beat, and we we are, aren't we? No, you've all you've all fished as if you would be fishing a proper mm. match, haven't you? It's not. Yeah. It's been serious, and I think the weights show that that you know there's been a pound separating you today and five pound yesterday, which realistically is one carp, and you lost some carp yesterday. Mm. Lee lost some. I think you lost. Some, everyone lost some carp. So it's touching there, wasn't it? With Andy uh, hooking that like eight nine pound fish last chuck. Yeah. You know, it was like, oh dear. And then I, when we weighed in, I couldn't believe it. But yeah. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah. It's brilliant competition. We loved it, and I hope you guys love it as well, because, um, you know. Yeah, so we should have some more goldfish matches. We should actually. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, uh, so that concludes it for another year. Um, don't forget to hit subscribe, and uh, Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And we'll be back again next year, Andy, won't we? Oh, yeah. Try and make it free. Do we need to? If we. Well, if we make it three in a row, then it's finished, isn't it? You have the, trof right, you have the okay. trophy, just One more go, keep then. it, and that's it. We'll just, yeah, we'll try again next year. And um, what do you think, the same people, Adam, or are you going to swap around? I don't know. I'll ask team captain to and see what he thinks. What, Lee? Yeah. So what are you saying? I'm saying nothing. <laughs> On that note, I'm going to pack up. See you later. <laughs>